Hey guys, so before I jump into the details of the league, I just want to let you know that this is just an informational video on the PGE T20 League and I will be revealing the actual upload date and time for the official team selection video at the end of this video. So stay tuned until then. First off, let's start with a quick explanation on what this league is. This is a subscriber league. Basically, it's a way for me to give back to my subscribers for supporting me. Thank you, by the way. What happens is that you will create your own team of 11 international players and they will compete against each other for the PGE trophy. When creating your team, there are seven really important rules that you must follow to have your team eligible for the league. I will be explaining these rules now, so when the team selection video comes out, everyone can get straight to the selecting part. You will get a better idea on how to create your own team as we progress through these league intro videos. If you're still confused, please refer back to the last year's PGE T20 League to get a better understanding. Now, let's look at a few changes I have made to this league compared to last year's league. The biggest change is that now there are 10 teams competing instead of 8. There will now be a group matches instead of the round robin format, and now you must pick 3 underdog players instead of 2. Here is an example of the two groups. So with that out of the way, let's get started with the rules. Rule number one. So many people messed this rule up last year, so now I'm going to really emphasize strongly on it. Each player must select one of the players from this list as their captain, and only their captain. Some people were selecting two of these players, or some were selecting these players but not setting them as their captain. When you select a player from this list, they must be your captain and you must have at least one of them. This list of players isn't provided yet, but it will be on the team selection video. Rule number two. Exact same rule as the first one, but now you will be selecting a wicket keeper from this list instead of captain. Rule number three. You can't have more than two players from the same nationality in your team. So you can't have two Pakistani players in your team. This way, each team will be diverse and unique and will contain players from different nationalities under one team. Rule number four. You must have at least three players from the associate teams in your team. You can most definitely have more, but three is the minimum. Rule number five. This is the hardest rule, but beneficial to those who watch and comment on the video first, which is that you can't have a player on your team who has already been selected onto another team. So say for example, if someone else selects Muhammad Amir, you can't select him for your team. Rule number six. You must have at least one spinner in your team. Rule seven. The final rule. You can only select players who are competing in the ICC T20 World Cup 2016. So now I don't want you guys to go online, find players that are competing in the World Cup and comment them down below. That will be unfair, which is why I don't want you to comment in this video. Instead, I want you to like this video. The number of likes will tell me the number of people that are interested in competing. Finally, let's talk about the upload date and time for the official team selecting video, the video in which you will create your own team. That video will be uploaded on Saturday, March 12 at 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Last year, there was some confusion on time zones, so I looked at my top five most subscribed countries and cities and I've converted the time for them. The video might be a few minutes late, but it will be uploaded near this time. Once that video is released, the first eight people who comment on it while following the seven rules will qualify for the PGE T20 League. Want to make sure you don't miss out on the video or see it too late? Well then be sure to turn on the notifications for my channel so, so right when I upload that video, you'll be notified that it's up and will be given a chance to comment on it before anyone else. And of course, you can turn the notification off right after. Thank you and hope to see you all this Saturday.